Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Roots of Pacha, where today we're going to go looking for some rare and legendary animals, and it's time for us to start organizing our farm space a little bit better. So we're going to take care of all of that. and maybe build a pasture for our lower barns. Which all the barns, honestly, will be a much nicer layout um, once we have all the rares and legendaries that we need. So we have the space for it now. Now it's just a matter of getting them all set up where they need to be. I want kind of our wool and our egg pro products up here. And I think I'm gonna want some of our milk producing animals down below. We got a decent amount of gemstones. Um, we're up there on the ores, but we would need a little bit more gems to make anything happen. So we'll have to see on that. Got some more chilies that we can go ahead and pickle up. And apparently we need some vinegar today. That's okay. I'm very, very ex I don't know what I just did. I'm very excited for some of the builds that are to come. So this is going to be fun. It's going to take us a bit, but we've got a bit left to do. So not a terrible idea. The good thing is we only need six vinegar, so I can handle that just fine. Uh, we'll grab that one. And we'll also grab these. <coughs> Throw the garbanzo back in. Okay. I'm really excited to do some expanding. We'll see how it all comes out though. There's lots and lots to do. Okay. So, making some friends. And I do apologize for the noise in the background. All right. Esther, come back. So it might be time for us to breed up some guanaco, which would be really cool. So I don't think all the boars are ready just yet, but that's okay. While we're up here, I think that we need... Boop, boop. Golden Guanaco, and that's a Gen 3, but that's a Gen <coughs> 4. Hmm, and we'd get the same result either way. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. It's the next step in breeding anyway. So let's do it. And then we'll run on down here. Nick. 
make friends with all these guys. <clears throat> as soon as our fiber boar is ready, we should be able to breed it to the fire boar, which would be really cool. And I would take either of those offspring. Okay. Kroll's working on our shed, which is fantastic, but we'll talk to him. Just because it's harder to work in winter doesn't mean it's impossible. I mean, this is very true. Admittedly, that is very, very true. Now it is a Saturday. Most likely, yeah, no Zelk today. That's okay. What about Brub? He is here, so we do need to go and speak with him and see about getting ourselves a new fish. A nice hot tea and a good story so sound good right about now. I mean, fair. High wind, we caught one of those already, so we don't need to worry about that. So what we do need to worry about next, I would really like that to be our field, but we have tomorrow. So let's do the field tomorrow. For now, we're gonna go and check the savanna. We're gonna get some mining done. And then we'll check the jungle and the horse. To mud flats and the lower cliffs. So we'll go to the lower cliffs first. We're gonna have bigger animals and maybe even faster animals fairly soon, which would be nice. It's a regular orange. That's regular. They're all regular. That's okay. They're probably all going to be regular. But who knows? It's still worth a check. Here's all of our lovely bison. Nothing new there. These are almost certainly not going to be this season because we've already gotten to this season. The only thing we... Well, we could get lucky on the guanaco, the chickens or the horses, but I really doubt we're going to get lucky on the bison. the jungle next. Those are not harvestable. Well, that chicken's purple. Okay, I'll take a purple chicken. Thank you. I thought, you know, there's no way the season ends tomorrow. But no, there, that's a purple chicken. I hope it stays between the seasons. Oh, that would suck. Well, I guess we'll find out in two episodes <laughs> whether or not we can still get the chicken even though it will be spring. Uh, I really hope we can. I really, really hope we can. It's a night horse. I don't see anything new with the horses. Okay. No new horses. That's okay. 
we'll go and we'll get a little bit of mining done. And you know, maybe we'll just do a little bit of mining down in the forest area. And then maybe we'll go to the farm and start working on some things. Okie dokie. Oh yeah. We might not even need all this flint, to be honest. This might be more flint than we need. But you know what? I'll take it. It's still flint. It's still useful. And who knows? You know, eventually maybe we'll sell some. Probably not, but maybe eventually. We do also need to get our magic hand axe going. That is kind of important. It's not vital, but I would like to make it happen. I did see you. I know I'm backtracking, but I did see you. Okay. And now we just run for it. Just run for it! Oh, I'm so excited, too, to see all the secrets that I missed. I really am. I'm curious as to how that's going to turn out, you know? Like, I've really enjoyed this playthrough and playing the game truly blind with you guys, rather than looking things up all the time, other than the fish. I, I looked up the fish. I'm not even going to lie about that. And I did join the Discord and things. Not to look things up, but just to report glitches. But I am very excited to see what I missed. Not that I want this to come to an end. But who knows, you know? There's going to be more exciting games that we play in the future. There is one that is still in early access, yes but it should be out a little bit later this year. And I definitely own it. And it definitely involves merfolk. So that should be really exciting for all of us, I hope. It is so much more satisfying just to hit multiple rocks at a time. Okay. And you know, maybe we didn't get the best set of ores, but we got some. And I say we go and work on a little bit of our design aspects. Like an animal pasture and things like that. Cleaning out the other pasture would be really nice too. We'll go clean up around the farm. We'll make it look all pretty. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're going to get more decorations for like around the shipping bin and stuff too. Like we're going to make this place look nice. First we need to go put away all of our stuff though. And then I think we will start with the pasture and cleaning that up a little bit. So at the very least, there's more space for grass to spawn in. It'd be nice to see. <clears throat> yeah, we're still going to have to clean some stuff up. I do know this. Um, but hopefully there will be less of it. We'll just do all the easy bits. We'll start with the stones. Then the weeds. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Okay, that looks nice. Now I need to decide what kind of fencing we're going to put down below. Bronze isn't bad except for the fact that it uses the tin. <laughs> Excuse me, just a sec. I apologize, I am back. Um, the bronze isn't bad, but it does use the flint, not the tin. Um, the flint is a little bit of a concern. I did like the stone. Avi is interesting. I definitely think I want to get away from the wooden gates. I don't think those are great. I think I want to change all of those out. I do want to see the hardwood yarn gate and the ten gate both in action. I think. Yeah, I think those would be both cool to look at. I say, oh, I really do like that. You know what? We have more than enough flint. Let's grab it. So we need not stone. We need tin, copper, and flint. Let's go work on this. And maybe we'll just need to go and get enough tin and enough flint to make this happen. <clears throat> but for starters, let's do a few of these. I do not need 89 of them. Nine should be a good start. don't think... Oh, no, you can totally squeeze through there. I might need it to come up a little higher then. Just so they don't leave and get out. Well, hold on. Yeah, that's totally walkable ground. Hmm. Okay. So I think our wall does need to come across this layer here. Hmm. Nope, that doesn't work either. Oh no. Okay. So we could do something like that. And then I could do a bit of smashing. Okay. That's... I didn't realize I was making two with each of those. I mean, I could just leave that. But I'm probably not gonna. Yeah, that looks better, is all. So then we, you know... Could put a few decorations out, maybe. Like, I can't do the walls here, but I could do some decorations, like, over here. And that could be nice. But that actually looks really good. I approve of that. <clears throat> um, making one of those gates actually is really not bad. So you do kind of want to see what that looks like as well. We might actually transition our other pasture over to being the same as well. With that. Because that looks really nice. Hmm. 
And I feel like we could definitely do something like that. I think that would be really good for us. But for now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get some sleep. And we will awaken. After we check out our resources, we contributed... Oh, nothing today. So that doesn't matter. That's fine. And we will awaken the final day of winter. Which will be the New Year's Eve festival. So we do need to take care of our animals fairly quickly and make our way to the mountaintop. But all of this is going to have to wait. For with the saving of the game and the ending of the day, we have come to the end of the episode. If you like what you see, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. And have a good night.